Okay, today's blog post is actually going to be about a command that's not a new command to us, um, but it might be new to many of you, so I want to take some time to take a look at it. It's called Object Snap Tracking, or OTRAC for short, and we're going to start just by drawing a single rectangle, just to have some geometry to play with on screen. And you'll see actually when you line up with the new grid lines in 2011, it actually changes the colors of your lines. So you can kind of see that you're snapping into place. All right, so we're starting with this rectangle. Now we're going to make sure that our O track is on in the bottom and our status bar. And we're going to start the line command. And we're going to make sure that our O snaps are set because O track actually uses O snaps. It's in conjunction with the object snaps. So I'm going to start my line first by hovering over the endpoint of the bottom right hand corner of the rectangle. And I don't click, I just hover so that I get that tracking line. And then I'm going to type in a value and it'll actually start that point directly from my value. I'm going to come down and turn on ortho so I can make sure I have straight lines and track that line up. And I'm going to go ahead and just use direct distance entry. Again, use O tracking to get the length of these lines without having to dimension or use construction lines, and then close the object. You can actually track up to seven points continuously to find a single point that you need. I'm going to turn on midpoint, and I'm going to actually place a circle right in the middle of this rectangle without having to draw any construction lines at all. I'm tracking both midpoints until they meet, and then drawing the circle. Next, I'm going to actually translate that circle over into what would be hypothetically a side view, if that's how we we're taking a look at, at the geometry that I'm creating, just by changing my O snaps to picking up the quadrants as well. And then I'm going to shift right click to get the perpendicular, because I don't have that on as a running O snap, and do the same thing for the bottom quadrant of the circle. And again, of course, if this was actually uh, a hypothetical view of a box with a hole in it, we would be changing these line types to hidden. But the point is that you can see the O tracking work and that you don't need any construction lines whatsoever to be able to build this geometry. All right, I hope you enjoyed O track. Good luck.